Men have been throwing up like crazy since they got off the plane, like a high-pressure gun. And the plane he was on was even weirder. It had been in the air for eight years, and none of the passengers on board noticed. They all thought it was just a three-hour flight. The families of the passengers thought they had met their demise. But when the captain contacted the ground to request a landing but little did they know when the ground crew heard it was flight 828, they were stunned. After thousands of attempts to confirm and asking the captain for his name and the number of passenger before the ground cleared the plane to land, they finally landed at a remote alternative airport. As the passengers disembarked from the plane, a large number of police and journalists surrounded them. The passengers were all in a panic. There was much discussion about what had happened at this point. A bald sheriff stepped forward and said, Ladies and gentlemen, here's the story. Your plane took off from Jamaica on April 7, 2013. It is now December 32, 2022. There was an uproar. There was a lot of confusion because for them, it's only been three hours. How could eight years have passed? So to find out why, the bald sheriff detained the plane and all the passengers and questioned them one by one. But the answer was the same. The plane had hit a strong turbulence. After a violent lurch, the plane came back to normal. Everything on the plane was even checked. But still nothing unusual was found. The passengers had no choice but to be released and reunited with their families. They cried for joy at the reappearance of their missing relatives embracing each other five years. Except for them, everything has changed dramatically. Their seven-year-old daughter has become a big girl. The boyfriend has matured a lot, too. But when I saw the ring on his hand only to find out that he was married to his best friend. And that's when Roy and Lisa, the siblings it was then that they realized they had really been gone for eight years. After all the passengers had left, the local incident investigation team stepped in. They wanted to find out why the plane had been flying for eight years. No refuel was needed, and all the passengers hadn't changed at all. The investigation team sensed that this was something out of the ordinary. It's not as simple as it seems. Lisa was riding home on the bus when something weird happened. A voice said to drive slower. Lisa said sorry can you drive slower? But the driver shook his head and ignored Lisa. But then the voice came again. Slow down. Lisa shouted stop. Stop now. The driver asked how did you know he was coming? How is this possible? Lisa's eyes were full of disbelief. She couldn't understand who was warning her. So she rushed home. She went to Roy and told him the strange story. Roy told him to keep it a secret for now. Not to tell anyone or he would be thought to be insane and he would be arrested. But something so bizarre, it kept her awake at night. And as she pondered in a restless mood, the mysterious voice reappeared and said, let them go. Following the voice's lead, Lisa came to an abandoned warehouse. When unexpectedly, Roy drove up too. Turns out he too had a voice repeatedly telling him to let them go. Knowing it was a crime, but the siblings let the dogs go anyway. Sure enough, early in the morning, they were reported to the owner. Their actions were also recorded on video. Luckily, the police officer in charge of the case happened to be Lisa's ex, boyfriend, Tom, so with the idea of getting it over with, Tom took Lisa to the warehouse to apologize to the other man, hoping to be forgiven. But to his surprise, the mysterious voice reappeared just as they arrived at the warehouse. Followed the voice to a locked storage room to find out what was going on. So she grabbed an iron bar and smashed it. But when she opened the door, she found the two girls who had recently disappeared inside. The owner of the house saw that they had found them. Suddenly he grabbed the iron bar and smashed it at Tom. Fortunately, Tom's reflexes were sharp. He dodged the attack with a sidestep. The girls are rescued. Meanwhile, the investigation team, after some investigation, nothing unusual was found, so they decided to start dismantling the plane. But then, something even more bizarre happened. The people on board Flight 828 all seemed to hear the call. They all arrived at the airport in unison. The plane suddenly blew itself up in front of everyone's eyes. The investigation team checked them out one by one, but it was as if they had arranged it in advance. The answers were unanimous. They all said they suddenly wanted to see the plane. But as soon as they arrived, they saw the bizarre scene. Although they didn't know what caused them to be here. But the surveillance showed that they were not near the plane. After some questioning, to no avail, they had to be east. But the director told them it was a matter of national security. It had to be kept secret. It must not be disclosed. 
But the next day, one of the passengers, Anna, revealed it. She claimed to know the truth about Flight 828. But it turned out that Anna was killed that night. It was as if a mysterious force hiding the secrets of Flight 828. When Lisa and Roy saw the news, suddenly a chill ran down their spines to find out what was going on. Lisa found the man suspected of killing Anna because he was the first to show up at the scene that night. But little did she know he recognized Lisa right away. He said he knew everyone on Flight 828. He even claimed that they were the chosen ones. Although Lisa was puzzled, she asked him if he had killed Anna. Instead, the man said, I would rather kill myself than her and that in this life I will pay for my sins. Lisa was confused. She had no choice but to find Tom to see what he'd made of it. But just as she was about to leave, suddenly there was a strange stone figure with wings whispering in his ear help him. Lena is looking down at the information. Suddenly, a blackened woman passed her by and there were dark footprints on the ground. Lena turned around in confusion. But just as she was about to scream, a colleague suddenly shouted. Lena turned to her senses only to find that the blackened woman had disappeared in a strange way to find out if it was a hallucination. So she followed the footprints to a hospital room. Man came out of nowhere, grabbed her by the arm and said, Amy the airline steward. But the paramedics were able to sedate him in time. That's what calmed Jack down. Although Lena was confused about it. But she knew it was inextricably linked to Flight 828. Meanwhile, Lisa and Tom were sent to assist their sister department on a mission. But while waiting to be informed, a stone statue appears in front of Lisa's eyes. And it kept whispering in her ear save him. Lisa hesitated for a moment, but told Tom that the undercover agent was in danger. He needed to be rescued. Although Tom was a little confused, but out of trust in Lisa, he gave the order to break into the house and rescue her. But he didn't expect to ruin the capture, even exposing the identity of the undercover agent. Afterwards, Tom voluntarily took all the blame. He was suspended from his job. Lisa felt very guilty about this, but with all the passengers on Flight 828 at stake so she kept it under wraps. In the hospital, Lena suspected that she might have a mental health problem. She had a head scan and found a leading neurologist. The film revealed Lena's active brain area was identical to that of a patient in the hospital. And that patient was Jack, who had just been brought under control. Upon learning of this, Lena rushed to tell Roy about what had happened today. She said that if she could find Amy, she might be able to get the answers she needed. It was a good thing that Roy had left everyone's contact details, so he sent Amy's contact details to Lena. At the same time, the investigation team tracked down Jack. We don't know how he got away, but with the fingerprints in the database and a search of the flight's personnel, it turned out there was no such person. And Lena found Amy through her contacts. That's how she found out that Jack was her brother's girlfriend in order for her brother to meet Jack. So she smuggled Jack onto the plane and hid him in the cabin. It was all planned out perfectly. But then something went wrong. The landing place was changed on short notice. When she found out the truth. Lena. It took Amy to the hospital to find Jack. But to her surprise, Jack had disappeared from the ward. Two men followed the footprints and chased them out. At the same time, the bald sheriff arrived with his investigation team. Jack was nowhere to be seen. They look around. Lisa found out that Lena had seen the stone statue, so she rushed over to him to ask for details. They come across the two men running out of the hospital. They knew it was urgent, so they drove off together in the car. Lena said the statue he saw was wet. Everywhere he went, he left footprints. Lisa, however, said what he saw was a pair of wings, like an angel. Amy thought it was a water angel by the way they described it. And so it was with Amy's guidance, Jack was found in front of the statue and told Jack to stop looking. His brother had disappeared years ago. And that's when it dawned on Lisa. The statue had led him to save, not the undercover agent. It was Jack in front of him. But the first order of business was to find a safe place to stay. So they set Jack up in an abandoned boiler room. At the same time, Jack is added to the investigation team's watch list. However, Lisa, because of these two mistakes, Lisa was beginning to have doubts about herself. Lisa thinks to herself, what do you want from me? The boy is sharing his consciousness with the old man, who is miles away. All the pain he suffered was reflected in the boy. It turns out that the boy and the old man were both passengers on the mysterious flight 828. 
When Roy learns that Lisa and the others are harboring a stowaway from Flight 828, Roy angrily rebukes Lisa because a group of local men were secretly investigating the secrets of Flight 828. So secretly taking some of the homeless passengers in the wild for brutal human experimentation. If this group found out, what they were doing would have put him and his family in danger. So for the sake of his wife and children, and after making his position clear and left without a backward glance. However, soon afterwards, the investigation team discovered through hospital surveillance that Amy and Lena were also outside Jack's hospital room at the same time as he disappeared. The bulb sergeant sensed that this was no coincidence, so he took Amy back to the station for questioning. But even with the evidence in front of him, Amy denied that she knew Jack. When the sheriff saw that Amy didn't know him, so he threatened her. You do realize that an unidentified male can enter and leave the plane at will. Maybe that's why Flight 828 disappeared. If you continue to protect him, you'll go to jail. But Amy still says she doesn't know Jack. And in the meantime, Roy takes his son Adam home on the underground. But Adam suddenly ran off in the middle of the ride, and he's mumbling something like everything is connected. Roy was stunned when he heard it because of this statement. Ever since he had refused to be involved in Jack's affair, it had echoed in his mind often, although Roy couldn't figure out why Adam knew the words. He followed Adam into a ventilation duct, and when he came out, only to find that this was the boiler room where Jack was hiding. And that was not all, Adam naturally called out Jack's name. This made Roy realize that there was something strange going on because Adam hadn't been part of the adult's operation and he didn't know where Jack was hiding. Was this all as it seemed in his head? Everything is connected. Adam looked at the door and suddenly realized something. He dragged Roy away. Adam whispered to his father to hurry up. Someone's coming. And as soon as the words were out of his mouth, there was a banging at the door. Roy was about to take Adam and run away the way he came. But this time Adam said, I think he's a friend, and opened the door. Despite Roy's resistance, it turned out to be Amy's wife. She told everyone that Amy had asked him to come and find Jack, and that Amy had been arrested by the bald sheriff. She needed to get Jack out of the house immediately afterwards. Roy had connected the dots between the recent strange events and told Lisa that Adam had the ability to see things in advance. Maybe from the moment they got on flight 8 to 8, they couldn't be separated from each other. But what they could never have imagined was that Adam was the only one on the plane who knew what was happening on that plane. Everything is connected.